Hello, and welcome to I Hate Those Guys in Burbank, California. Yes. to another episode of Spirit Sears Speakeasy. Today, I'm extremely pleased to announce that we're gonna be doing something a little different and very special. Um, today, we're gonna be doing something that I like to call the Single Malt Showdown. So what we have is, in this corner, a single malt. And in this corner, a single malt. I've used nondescript Stanley flask in order to disguise what these are so that our live studio audience here will have no idea what they are tasting. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to bring in each spirit seer behind the bar with me. We're going to give them a taste of A and a taste of B. They're going to take a 3x5 card, write their name, what they like, maybe some notes if they want, and then they're going to get the hell out of here and we'll bring the next one in. Um, at the end, we'll collect all these, we'll get on the couch and we'll talk about which of these two single malts is the winner. All right, let's get started. All right, so our first contestant here today is Steve. Steve's gonna take a little bit of each. So Steve, we've got uh, the single malt A and single malt B. What I want you to do is taste one. We've got some water to cleanse your palate if you need to in between. Taste the other. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you think about each. Um, and then write on that card, uh, which one is your favorite. All right, <clears throat> sounds simple enough. Easy. Super, super malty, bread, cereal, mm -hmm. honey. That's a good, that's a good whiskey. A little warmth to it after it was gone. All right. <clears throat> okay. Decision made. All right. A and B. A and B. Is the whole, the whole pour for me? Uh, it, you can have as much as you want. <laughs> you can have a taste. You can have a, the whole thing. Where's that one from? I don't know. I thought you said you could tell me that. No, I said I'm not telling you anything about them. This is this is the Pepsi challenge in in real life here. This is updated. The speed Spirit Sears challenge. <laughs> This is our Pepsi versus Coke. I mean, mm. our, our our generic cola, cola versus, versus generic cola. Yeah. <laughs> Don't sue us, Pepsi or Coke. All right. Just really like, uh, just like Steve, the decision was quick. So A and B in my notes. Yep, A and B, and you put put your favorite. Okay. Pick my favorite. Yeah. Okay. For the B. You don't have to have all of it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no slouch. Are these from the same distillery? I'm not telling you. Oh. Don't try to trick me, Grima Warm Tongue. A little more thoughtful. Okay, a decision has been reached. Right, we'll do. Let's get started. can't place it. All right, A has been tasted. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what I've tasted. Like it's it's whiskey, sure, but there's there's elements that I just don't know. I've never tasted anything or smelled anything like that before. Excuse me, not, not in a whiskey at any rate. All right, B. All right. That has more of the grain element that, that smells more familiar to a bourbon or um, yeah, bourbon or like a weeded whiskey almost. Uh, I got a little bit more of that element. 
Yeah, that's that's like a weeded, almost like a, like the Sugar House weeded wheat whiskey that they made a few years a years ago. I've, I've got a bottle. I should pulled that out not long ago. That's very much what that smells and tastes like to me. As far as this, I still have no idea what that is. That's <laughs> I I don't know. Like that's I, I I'm at a complete loss. Loss. All right. Um, fascinating, and just that I've never had anything like that before in my life. That is really good. It's very much like the Sugar House wheat whiskey. I really like that. Uh, or um, uh, Larceny is kind of what that reminds me of. All right. So write your write your favorite there. And then what we'll do when we go to the couch is we'll pull out the bottles and uh, we'll talk about them. Am I supposed to drink a whole of this? No, you just oh, take okay. a taste. Or if you're Travis, then you down and ask for another. <laughs> yeah, get a little Ooh. bit of water, swish it around. That was spicy. has been tasted. All right, B's been tasted. Okay, and I'm so, just writing it down, I'm just A or B. Yeah, A or B, your name, and uh, a few things that you like about it. Welcome back to Spirit Sears Speakeasy Single Malt Showdown. All right, so we've got a couple of the seers here. Couldn't get everybody because we've only got limited space, but I do have everybody's answers right here on what they liked. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to tabulate the vote. We're gonna get some guesses from our studio audience here on what they think uh, A was and what they think B was, and then we'll reveal it and we'll talk a little bit about the spirits. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right, <clears throat> so the first vote we have here is from Sabra. She said she liked A better. Spicy long finish, that was spicy. I'm guessing it was spicy. <laughs> it was spicy. So that's a vote for A. In fact, we'll put that right there. I like that you use the word tabulate. <laughs> well done, sir. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> My vernacular is large. All right, so B, wheat, flavor, aroma. No name, but I recognize that this is Mike's handwriting. Yeah. Sorry. He likes, he thinks it's got a weedy flavor as we saw in the uh, tasting. Uh, he likes the aroma. We'll put that there. Uh, Travis wrote, Travis likes A. <laughs> and uh, not as burny, less ethanol, which is funny because Sabre thought it was more burny and spicy, um, which is interesting. More smoke flavor, absolutely, it is very smoky. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, more barrel flavor and smoother. I disagree on that bit, but we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, Mackenzie <laughs> liked B. More of a rye flavor on the palate. Um, yeah, it's a little, little spiciness. Uh, Steve liked B. Um, My writing's terrible. Uh, I think this says malt. You want me to Sanger translate for you? Justin you is the most beautiful man I've ever seen. You Honey so sweet <laughs> and fruit on the nose. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. And then another B with no name, but I recognize this is my wife's handwriting, Sarah. <laughs> and none of you apparently can follow simple instructions. Hey, I did just fine. I've been drinking um, since noon today, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one says, sweeter, warm, not as youthful in flavor. Well, that's an interesting thing. So the final tally is one, two, three, four, four B, and two for A. So I think that's a so far resounding people are wrong. <laughs> Resounding win for B. For A. For B. Uh -huh. Only two people liked A. Golf. I didn't vote because I knew what they were, but personally, I actually like B better. Um, oh. I didn't say that when we went through it. There are things I like about A. I think A is a good uh, single malt. I think it's a good whiskey. Um, there's some things I don't like about it, but let's reveal. So, can I guess? Oh, yeah, we got to guess first. I'd like to guess. Oh, yeah. All right, I'd so. Like to solve the puzzle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, <laughs> so it's a single malt. Ho hold on, let's, yeah, so who, who wants to guess? Obviously. <laughs> I have no idea what, what are, I drank. Remind me of what the classifications are for single malt. All right, so I was a really little bit quick. tricky because I said single malt and Travis immediately thought scotch, but these are not scotches, these are American single malts. Oh, okay. Okay, so these are made here in the US of A. 
Um, by definition, you know, scotch is all single malt, uh, but not all single malt is scotch, right? It's got to be made in Scotland to get that designation. Mm -hmm. These were made here. Um, so the definition is that it's made from a single distillery. Some people like to say that it has to be made from a single still to be single malt and it's got a single malt in it, right? There's no single barley. Yeah. There's, there's no mix of it. Um, so that's really the rule. It's not, you know, the definition, it's an actual hard, fast rule to make it a single malt. So it can be, so just barley, it can't be like rye or any other yep. grain. Correct. Yep. Just barley. Ooh. Okay. I'm not guessing. I have no idea. <laughs> so <laughs> my guess originally, because I, you said single malt and I assumed scotch. Right. Which is why um, it was being tricky. Uh, now I had an inkling that we were comparing scotch to American malt, but my guess for A was if it was a bland, I would say it was probably monkey shoulder. Uh, being that you said it was a single malt, uh, I was thinking a spay side, probably spay burn. Yeah, with that smokiness in it. Mm -hmm. Um, I could see now, that. The fact that you said they're both American, now I'm leaning towards ransom. That's a good guess, yeah. Uh, it's wrong, but it's a good guess. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was about to say, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't even want to test it. I don't know that much about single malt, let alone whiskey. To Yeah, and so I wanted Travis to be on this because he's not a whiskey connoisseur. Uh, you know, Steve and I and, and Mike all both are, are pretty much into the whiskey. We try different types, lots of scotches, bourbons, rice. But having somebody that doesn't drink a lot of straight spirits first of all and doesn't know a lot about it i thought it was very interesting to have um be part of the discussion so do you have any guesses mike i have no idea i i've been really curious about this one since i tried it earlier today and i genuinely have no idea and i've had less of an idea since i've been drinking since we had the initial try we'll, like let's, we'll let you figure house. out which episode this is yes in the weekend because i know he's been working i feel <laughs> like he's been working on a single malt <laughs> All right, one of them is Sugar House. Um, you would not be wrong. You would be correct. Do you know which one it is? Like that. <laughs> I, I wondered if it was. I, I figured they were American. Just beyond that, I have no idea. So the the funny thing is, and we'll we'll, we'll do the reveal now because I think we're we're getting to the the meat of the discussion here. The funny thing is, when you were like, oh, this one tastes a little bit like uh, Sugar House's wheat, uh, you know, that that they had made the experimental I, whiskey. You were right. Same distiller. But it was not the wheat. Um, it's not a wheat whiskey. But Sugar House has a very distinctive flavor, I feel, that comes through on all of their whiskeys that they make, whether it be the bourbon, the rye, or the single malt. I think it's the yeast. It's got to be the yeast. It is the yeast. Yeah, he uses, I believe, a Belgian strain of yeast for, his, uh, for all of his whiskeys. So that is actually the B, the winner. Hmm. Right here, the winner which by the way, just won two gold medals this year at I believe is the San Francisco, I don't, James can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, competition. There was I think 70 different single American single malts and that was the double gold medal winner. So is that one High West? This one, yeah, you can see the bottle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this so was this our, was a? Uh, no. that was B. Oh. This is the moldy barrel one. So this is the High West, High Country, um, <clears throat> this one was interesting and I thought it would be fun to put in because this was only released Holy. about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago. Uh, it's that was, there was a lot of hype about that. Very first single malt. They've never done a single malt before. Until this was released, the Sugar House was the only single malt made here in the state of Utah. I had never See, heard of this And one for before. me, so that was A, correct? Correct. This was a. So that one had a really fruity nose to me. And that's what had me thinking scotch, because you, I, a single malt for scotch, I, you know, I was thinking a, a space side, but it was, it's just, it smelled very light and fruity, cereal, malty. CMB for me came through as a moldy barrel, like there was some <laughs> kind of musty muck. See, and I, so to, to me, to me, and t uh, it's different for everyone, I think, mm -hmm. but. The Sugar House single malt very much reminds me of Saison beer. Colors a lot different. Yeah. 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 The, 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 that the, 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 the yes, wheat element that, that I was getting thing. was just like that, it's that, that funky. That, that musty kind of farmhouse funky. Yeah. Like uh, we were at, I was at Fisher the other night 
with you guys and uh, you know thinking back on that the the sugar house malt I think shares some very similar notes to to a saison beer yeah so for me uh, when I've tasted these side by side uh, it's always B um, because that to me is more of what a single malt should be now the high country's brand new it's the first uh, go round of it and I'm sure high west will will dial it in a little bit there's some things I don't like about it. I think it's a good whiskey. I don't necessarily think it's a good single malt though. It, it doesn't it taste with. like a single malt really to me. And it tastes like a rye to me. Yeah, it, it oh. and, and to me that's that's prob that's where my problem comes in. And the first time I opened that bottle, um, all I wanted to do was open up a space side instead, right? Because I, I think that they were going for something and they missed. It was almost like if they were trying to make an IPA and just slightly missed yeah. on, on, on what it was. And so I think it's a good experiment. I think that it'll get better as time goes on, but it's just not quite there yet for me. Yeah, well, it's I agree. It, it's interesting to note that they, they laid this away a long time ago. Um, you know, some of the, it's, and it is a, it is a, uh, a single malt, but they, it's, it's been in wood for a while. This has been in the works for quite some time. Um, and for me, when I tasted it, my, my first thought was a, was a blended scotch, you know. Uh, off camera, I told you, I, I swore up and down that this was monkey shoulder. Yeah, well, and there's, there's also been a little bit of controversy over it, too. So, when we were talking about earlier that it has to come from a single distillery, single steel, um, that's actually a blend, uh, which, in my opinion, is kind of breaking the rules a little bit. And maybe not breaking, but bending it because... There High West has, well, it is. High West has two stills. Mm -hmm. They have one in Park, Park City, City and, and they, they have the one in one ship. ship yeah. yeah. And so it comes from the still in Park City and the still in one ship, and it's a blend of those two. I remember when uh, Ethan from, he's now the head distiller at Holy Stone, uh, some of this was put in wood back when Ethan worked for uh, High West years ago, uh, before he even went to New Deal in Portland. <laughs> Yeah, and I think maybe that's why there's some of it from, from both stills. Maybe they'll eventually just do the launch ship uh, location you know, once it's aged appropriately. Um, but yeah, so I, I know that you know just following the message boards, the, the internet, uh, there there was quite a bit of controversy yeah, I, I over it. I feel like that's skirting the line of kosher with the name of single malt. I agree with that one. Because yeah, like a single malt should all be from one location, one still, one I mean, grain. That's why it's called single malt. One There's exactly. no yeah. question of yeah. how it comes. Yeah, yeah the, um, the other thing too is like in full transparency, we've talked about, you know, that's the first release of High West. Uh, the very first release of the Sugar House single malt, I wasn't a fan of. I didn't think it was very good. Um, it's gotten much better over the past three or four years. I'll, I'll admit to being in that line. Uh, in fact, for posterity's sake, uh, in our Utah cabinet here, there is a bottle of Sugar House Malt Whiskey Batch 1. Um, it's not great. Not great at all. And James has offered many a time to let me trade it in for something, and I just have told him no, because it's a little piece of Utah That's piece of history. history. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so having not been very familiar with single malts. The only thing I really can compare to is the rye from both of these companies. Um, I've had High West Double Rye and Sugar House Rye is one of my favorites. I use it in anything that calls for rye basically other than Rittenhouse if I have it available. Mm -hmm. um, and I comparatively I agree that I, the Sugar House is more complex flavor. It's, it's better. I guess, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I think I misjudged on the first tasting. After tasting them both now, uh, I get what you guys are saying about the distinctive flavor. So the one thing that I was disappointed about with the High West, and this may be because it's High West and it's Constellation and, you know, they're the big boys in town, is it's a $79 bottle. Oof. Which That's a little <laughs> rough. is a little bit rich for my teeth. I mean, I bought it. Um, oh. We don't ever take any free bottles at Spirit Sears. We, we buy everything that we review so we can give honest uh, open reviews. I bought it at $79.99. I'm thinking I should just buy some Burai or some Campfire instead. Or that Midnight which, Summers. Or, yeah, mid or Midwinter's Night Drink. Yeah, yeah. Which is a little bit more. I think that like comes $20 $99. More. $99. 
but it's a much better bottle. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. I'd yeah. much rather have that than the, the well, semi. -mal. And uh, can I ask what's the price point on the Sugar House malt? I believe it's forty nine ninety nine. I just bought it yesterday. Oh, I don't nice. remember, but that's I think steal. it's fifty bucks. Well, that's I mean that's that's thirty dollars difference. Yeah. Here. yeah, that's an absolute steal, and I'd much rather have the Sugar House. Yeah. So and that and that was kind of my thinking too, is you're spending thirty dollars extra for, you know, not as, you know, in a lot of ways good of a product. Yeah. Agreed, and and like the blind tasting that we did earlier, like that totally bore out. I would much rather have the Sugar House. Now, I know it's probably a bad question, but like I wouldn't drink either of these straight. Is there any cocktails that these would go good in? Any cocktail you use scotch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any scotch cocktail okay. um, you could put them in. And in fact, it'd actually be really interesting to use them for some cocktails. I've had some of uh, the Sugar House in some cocktails before. I've I haven't had the High Country in a cocktail yet because, like I said, it's they, too new. It's too new. It's only six weeks old. Okay. Release. You can only, by the way, buy it at Park City or Wanship. It's not general distribution in the okay. liquor store here in Utah yet. They are ramping up production, and it is supposed to be out uh, nationwide. I think end of next year, 2021. Okay. Okay. Cool. So yeah. literally the bleeding edge here on that whiskey. So. Yeah. And that's, cool. that's why I said let's. You know, it'd be interesting to see the yeah. trajectory on yeah. it and what happens here in the next Absolutely. couple of years. I, I think High West has always come through <clears throat> as a distillery that can do great things. Yeah. Um, they just normally need a couple. Oh, yeah. You know, in, a, in some categories, you know, when Rye was first coming back around, High West set the bar. Mm -hmm. um, I've had great whiskeys from them. And yeah. so yeah. I totally. give, give them give them three, four, five more years. Uh, they might have a serious contender on their hands. But but right now, I unbiasedly, you know, could say I honestly preferred the Sugar House. Yeah. Yep. So there we go. Uh, a complete blind tasting. No information given, just two American single malts uh, that I was kind of tricky on and didn't specify if it was scotch or not. Uh, but also two fully 100% made here in Utah, no sourced alcohol at all, made here. Uh, really great products, really different in a lot of different ways uh, than each other, but still that, that single malt. Um, Sugar House, five votes. Uh, High West, two votes. So there you have it. That's the uh, the single malt showdown. Awesome. All right. Fantastic. Sweet. All right. Well, got nothing left to drink. Yeah. I mean, well, there's a lot to drink, but uh, keep the spirit. Keep the spirit. Keep the spirit. Keep the spirit.